Tonight, a Western News investigation. For hundreds of Florida public employees, retirement will start with quite the financial windfall. Western News has obtained the latest database for DROP, also known as the Deferred Retirement Option Plan. You might be surprised at some of the six figure payouts that you're footing the bill for. West News Amanda Ober has this exclusive investigation. DROP is a program that allows employees on the public payroll to boost their retirement savings while continuing to work. In theory, it was created to encourage retirement of highly paid senior employees to make room for advances among younger, lower paid employees. Here's how the DROP program works. A public employee may enter the program if they're eligible for retirement. Then they begin receiving a monthly pension benefit which accrues in a trust fund. When they finally retire, usually at the end of five years, they get a lump sum payout and then their monthly pension benefit kicks in. According to the data, 33 public employees from seven Central Florida counties will receive drop accruals of more than half a million dollars. Who are they? The top drop accrual of $858,000 is set to go to Seminole County Sheriff Don Esslinger. He'll also receive a lifetime pension of $13,000 a month. The other top recipients include the sheriffs of Lake and Osceola counties who will get similar payouts to Esslinger. To some taxpayers, that sounds excessive. Wow, wow, that's a lot of money, 858000 I think it's not fair for the taxpayers. One of the most outspoken critics of DROP is the government watchdog, Florida Tax Watch. These top-ended uh, government employees have benefited disproportionately at the expense of not only the taxpayers, but at the expense of core functions of public services in the state of Florida. And DROP needs to be dropped. It's important to note the majority of workers who participate in DROP do not retire to wealth. For those who don't make large salaries or have long-time tenure, DROP can be a lifeline. And it actually is a very valuable program because it gives them that uh, nest egg, if you will, to enjoy their retirement. Michael Stevens is financial advisor for the Orange County Teachers Union. He says the average teacher receives a drop accrual check of about $150,000 when they retire and a pension of about $30,000 a year. Also defending drop is Orange County Comptroller Martha Haney. She's on track to get a drop payout of $510,000 and a pension of close to $11,000 a month. She says drop is grossly misunderstood. It is not an additional cost to the Florida retirement system because so far as the system is concerned, you're retired. In 2011, lawmakers did make changes, including eliminating the ability for most participants to retire and then go right back to work for the same agency. But judging by its history, the debate over drop will continue as long as it's around. In Orange County, Amanda Ober, West 2 News.